Hello, uh, today I'm going to be reacting to the Astronomers Dreams. Astronomers Dreams, okay. Okay, it's German, fine, whatever. I think, it, oh god, I keep saying it's German, I think it's actually French. George Milliers? George Milliers? I don't know how you say his name, you've got to uh, educate me in the comments because I've got no idea. Anyway, let's go on with it. Sorry, okay, let's go. I wonder how some of this is going to be to a trip to the moon. Okay. People teleporting around, I guess. It's not the Death Star plans. This scene does feel very similar to a trip to the moon. Oh, that's cool. Oh. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Didn't you already have... Okay, that's not a Tesco. I was going to say, you've got a quite big Tesco in front of you there. Do you need uh, that small handheld one? Wow, he's really getting screwed over. Oh, wow. So the astronomers, or whatever that word is, I can't can't read. I guess is that meant to be like a magician or a witch or something? Because this guy's having a, a really bad time. But the the practical practical like effects and props in this are like amazing. Like the sets and like what's that called? The pyrotechnics. It's really good. And he's unbre but Yeah, he needs to just run away from this giant sun moon face person who's giving birth to children out of his mouth. Yeah, just lob them back in. <laughs> it's quite funny. Oh, oh, he's getting right mugged off here. I'm a little bit scared about the sheer power this little moon face man has. Is it meant to be the moon? I don't know. But uh, it's quite overpowered. It's just going to be a. Uh, Femme Fatale? No? Unlucky. He's not having a good day, it's quite jarring. Oh, is he gonna die? Oh, oh, he's vomiting a little bit, coughing up, just did the uh, cinnamon, uh, what's that called, cinnamon powder challenge, whatever it's called, the cinnamon challenge. Wow, he's literally, was that his head? I think uh, the moon guy's loving it. No, okay, he's alive. These films do feel like some kind of psychedelic tricks, just because they're so out there and weird. Okay. I'll keep playing, because that's it. Shout out to silentfilmhouse.com. Uh, that was... That was... A lot weirder than I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be kind of quite a... Generic... Like, story, I guess. Like, The Trip to the Moon is fairly standard, I guess. I mean, there are a lot of elements that sci-fi is taking on from, the, from that film. And obviously this isn't the first sci-fi, like, you know, there's obviously been, like, literature, science fiction literature. But yeah, this is really out there and weird. I quite like how weird it was. It, again, as usual, the practical and, you know, props and effects are all amazing, and that's what makes these films kind of stand out and last. Um, they're pretty simple, but that also works in a way because it's not just overly complicated and annoying or slow. I mean, it's three minutes and it does quite a lot in three minutes. Uh, it did make me laugh. Because this is listed as a comedy, so it was quite funny. It had a lot of humour to it. So yeah, this was good. I really do want to check out more of George Milliers, Milliers, Milliers. Whatever this George guy's name is. First, I have to find out how to say his name and what country he's from. I'm pretty sure he's French, but I have to work that out later. Um, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want me to kind of react from the silent film era or any kind of science fiction. Yeah, let me know. Let me know because it's been quite good and it's kind of an interesting rabbit hole to go down. So yeah, cheers.